The following program is presented by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union. Doral Academy takes on Pinecrest School tonight on School Duel. and welcome to School Duel, where 20 South Florida high schools battle it out. Now, as you see, things are a little different this year. We will be following COVID-19 guidelines with everyone socially distant and wearing masks throughout the game, including myself. And to further reduce risk, we will not have a tournament this year. Instead, we will have individual games. But that doesn't mean it won't still be fun. Tonight's game features Doral Academy Preparatory versus Pinecrest School in what should be quite a showdown. So what are these students playing for? Well, first off, both teams will win beautiful trophies courtesy of our sponsor, Edco Awards and Specialties. Thank you, Edco. Both teams will also receive additional prizes from our sponsor, Public Supermarkets. Thank you, Publix. And for the runner-up school tonight, each player receives $50 from our sponsor, Bright Star Credit Union. Thank you, Bright Star. And last but not least, for the winners, well, each of these students will walk away with free chicken sandwiches for an entire year, courtesy of Chick-fil-A South Florida. Thank you, Chick-fil-A South Florida. So let's hear it for these sponsors and prizes. All right, let's get started. Our opening round is called First Strike. In this round, it's school versus school, and each question is worth 10 points. Any question answered incorrectly gives the other school a chance to steal. All right, schools, prepare for the first strike. Your first question deals with weather. In the 1880s, a major flood hit Johnstown, a city between Pittsburgh and Philadelphia, located in this northeastern... Michele? Pennsylvania. Very good. Multiple meanings. What word for a fighter pilot who shoots down five of the enemy is now a... Michele? Ace. Good job. Towers. A set of glass benches called sky risers was recently added to this device that was first built for the 1962 World's Fair, named this huge tower, considered a symbol of Seattle. Michele. The CN Tower? Incorrect, Pinecrest. Chase. What is the Space Needle? Yes, it is. Proteins. In barley, it's called hordine, while in oats, it is called avenin. Give the collective name for this protein found in commonly eaten grains that causes intestinal troubles for some. Chase. Gluten. Very good. Moving on to NASA. Give the verb defined by NASA as to send off a rocket vehicle under its own rocket power. That would be launch. Spelling. Spell the word there as used Michele? T-H-E-I-R. Incorrect. Pinecrest, spell the word there as used in the following sentence. I think they're home. I saw the car pull into the driveway. Maya. T-H-E-Y apostrophe R-E. Very good. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the What Am I question brought to you by McFadder Technical School. Here, our contestants will be given a clue about something or someone and then shown a picture that will slowly reveal itself. So here goes. Called Brad's drink when developed in New Bern, North Carolina, what soft drink was named for its purported help? Yes, Chase? Pepsi. Very good. And Pepsi was the first soft drink to use two liter bottles and the company has nearly 500 patents, including one for a tennis racket. All right, here's a question about the NFL. As a rookie, he progressed so well that his team traded away their starter, Alex Smith. Name this young star, yes? Patrick Mahomes. Very good. Companies. Before Wells and Fargo teamed up to begin Wells Fargo, they merged their companies to develop what is now this firm. 
Name this credit card company that offers green, gold, platinum, and black cards. Yes, Amer Justin? American Express. Very good. Starts with L. What word, starting with L, is the area between the bottom half of a flight of stairs and the top half? That would be Justin? Ladder. Incorrect, Doral? It's called a landing. All right, materials. What type of material is the result of a metal combining with a non-metal to form a new material? Yes, Chase? Alloy. Incorrect. Doral, I'll finish the question. What type of material is the result of a metal combining with a non-metal to form a new material with different properties? McCool? Metalloid. Incorrect. It's a composite materials. Oh, there's my horn. That means the end of the first strike round. We do have Pinecrest leading with 50 points. Doral Academy has 30 points. But don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. kid's birthday, you want them to feel like the only kid in the world. But this year, it made it really difficult to have a birthday party. My mom took me to Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A just goes above and beyond. I knew <laughs> that they would make it special. There was like a little note for a mobile order that said, can you please sing happy birthday? Happy they birthday. sung happy birthday to me and I cried. She was in fact happy. <laughs> <laughs> we got you something, Nova. What is that? A cookie. Thank you. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Back to school duel. The first round of action ended with Pinecrest leading. They have 50 points. Doral Academy has 30 points. And now before we begin the second round, let's take a minute to meet this week's competitors from each school. And let's start with the Doral Academy Firebirds. Welcome. <laughs> we have Michele, who is a junior. And the question of the day is, is there a career field that you're possibly thinking of going into? Uh, you know, I've thought a lot about uh, becoming a delegate for the United Nations. Okay, that's a good goal to have. Rosanna, you're a senior. What field do you want to go into? Um, I'm thinking about studying forensic science to become a forensic science technician. Very nice. And the captain of Doral Academy's team, his name is McCool, and he's a sophomore. Take it away. I'm thinking of going to computer science because that's what really interests me at this point. All right, very nice. Now let's meet your competitors. They're the Pinecrest Panthers. Welcome. <laughs> and we'll start with Chase, who's a senior. Same question. Is there a career field you're looking to go into? Uh, I'm hoping to study computer science, mathematics, and game design. All right, lovely. We have Maya. You're a senior. Hi. I was wondering if I could go into medical malpractice law. Excellent. All right, and the captain of Pinecrest School is Justin, who's a senior. The floor is yours, Justin. Uh, I'm not sure yet. That's all right. You have a lot of time. <laughs> all right. Let's hear it for both schools. OK, now that we know everyone, let's move on to round two, the joust. It's presented by Public Supermarkets. Here, a player from each school competes head to head with a toss up question. The winner gets three bonus questions for their school, and all questions are worth 10 points. All right, schools, it is time to joust. Now, normally we would have the players come to the joust desk to compete, but this year players will stay at their podiums. Our first players competing are our captains, McCool and Justin. So, here you go. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. 
Scientist Richard Owen is credited with creating this term from the Greek for terrible reptile. Give this word used today, McCool? Dinosaur. Very good. The following bonus questions all deal with dinosaurs. Bonus question number one. Hadrosaurus had this quality, shared by the modern day platypus. Michele? Webbed feet. It's be duck bill, it had a duck bill. Bonus question number two. What animal with plates on its back had a tail with four spikes, now called a thagomizer, after an old far side cartoon? That would be a stegosaurus. Bonus question number three. This first dinosaur to be discovered called Great Lizard in Greek was only half the size of T-Rex. Rosanna? A velociraptor. Incorrect, it's a megalosaurus. All right, my next two, Rosanna and Maya. Here's your toss up question worth 10 points. When listed in order, what number president is James Madison? Maya? Three. Incorrect, Doral? It would be four. I have another question for you. When listed in order, what number president is John Adams? Maya? Five. Incorrect. Rosanna? Second. Incorrect. It would be two. All right, we're going to move on to Michele and Chase. Here's your toss-up question worth 10 points. One of these, named for Bertrand Russell, asks, if you make a list of lists that do not contain themselves, is your list on that list or not? Give this term used in logic for something that seems to contradict itself. Yes, Chase? Paradox. Very good. All right, Pine Crest, here you go. The following bonus questions all deal with paradoxes. Bonus question number one. Complete this quote illustrating paradox. Youth is a wonderful thing. What a crime to waste it on blank. Chase? Children. Yes, very good. Bonus question number two. This Italian scientist wondered how there seemed to be as many perfect squares of numbers as there are numbers themselves, even though not every number is a perfect square. Chase? Fibonacci. No, be Galileo. Bonus question number three. This New York Yankees catcher was famous for paradoxes like, nobody comes to this restaurant anymore, it's too crowded. And that would be Yogi Berra. And I was just informed that Rosanna's answer of second for John Adams was correct. We misunderstood and thought she said seven because of the mask. So that means at Doral Academy, you get to answer the following bonus questions that deal all with presidential numbers. Bonus question number one. When listed in order, what number president is Barack Obama? McCool? 44. Bonus question number two. What number president is Bill Clinton? Michele? 41. Incorrect, it's 42. Bonus question number three. Who was the 22nd and 24th U.S. president? McCool. Grover Cleveland. Yes, very good. All right, and that, that buzzer means the end to the joust. We currently have a tie game. Pinecrest and Doral Academy both have 70 points. Don't go anywhere because we'll be right back with more School Duel after these messages. It must be fate that his cap and gown are the same color he wore for his kindergarten graduation. It's the same rascally smile, that hasn't changed. But he stands there, so sure, so ready to take on the world. He has arrived. It's hard not to resist and push against the door that's closing, but you give in a little, because the future is wide open. From each little moment to every major milestone, Publix, proud supporter of education. There were these kids and they were doing this weird thing with their hands and... Well, it's not up to you. I already made my decision.
but don't just go through the motions. Embrace them. Take it all in. Breathe, focus, then go. You know, we've been raised to be leaders and be responsible and don't be a follower. And that's exactly what we're doing right now. Coming up on Broward Teen News. We're at West Broward High School. We're here at Cooper City High School. We're at Stoneman Douglas High School. The Cypress Bay edition of Broward Teen News. Broward Teen News starts now. BTN is South Florida's only teen produced news program, produced by a different Broward High School every month. Broward Teen News, South Florida's student produced news show by teens for teens. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. Local high schools match wits to see who will be today's champion. Today's game has Doral Academy Preparatory competing against Pinecrest School. Currently, both schools are tied with 70 points each. It's now time for the rapid action round, and during this round, each school receives an identical category of questions to answer quickly by themselves. Now, since we do have a tie game of 70 points each between both schools, during the break, we held a coin toss and Pinecrest won and they opted to allow Doral Academy to go first. So Pinecrest is currently waiting outside the studios. Now today's category is starts with O as in Oscar. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter O as in Oscar. Each question is worth 10 points, and remember you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So here comes rapid action Doral Academy. Starts with O, let's cue the music and let's begin. State that forms Arkansas's western border. Michele. Oklahoma. What is the capital city of Canada? Michele. Ottawa. Nickname of the Major League Baseball team based in Baltimore. Michele. Orioles. 1800s trail between Independence, Missouri and the Pacific Northwest. Yes, Michele. Oregon Trail. Type of drug chemically based on morphine that causes many addictions. Michele? Oxytocin. Incorrect. And who is the lead singer of the heavy metal group Black Sabbath? Michele? Ozzy Osbourne. In a chemical reaction, the process of one terminal releasing electrons. Yes, Michele? Osmosis. The study of birds. Michele? Ornithology. This empire controlled Jerusalem from 1517 to 1917. Yes, Michele? Ottoman. Who was the supreme god and creator in Norse mythology? Yes, Michele? Odin. All right, good job, Doral Academy. We got through all of your questions. Round of applause for Doral Academy. And now with a little TV magic, let's go ahead and bring in Pinecrest. Welcome back, Pinecrest. Now it's your turn with the same questions. Today's category is starts with O as in Oscar. In this category, the answer contains a word that starts with the letter O as in Oscar, and each question is worth 10 points. Remember, you must answer these quickly or the judge will move you on. So Pinecrest, let's cue music and let's begin. State that forms Arkansas's western border. Justin. Oklahoma. What is the capital city of Canada? Justin. Ontario. Nickname of the Major League Baseball team based in Baltimore. Chase. Orioles. 1800s trail between Independence, Missouri. Yes, Chase. Oregon Trail. Type of drug chemically based on morphine that causes Justin. Opioid. Who is the lead singer of the heavy metal group Black Sabbath? Maya. Opal. In a chemical reaction, the process of one terminal releasing electrons. Chase. Oxidation. The study of birds. 
This empire controlled Jerusalem from 1517. The yes, Ottoman Empire. Who was the supreme god and creator in Norse mythology? Chase. Odin. Very good. All right. That sound brings an end to the rapid action round. We do have a close game. Doral Academy is leading. They have 150 points. Pinecrest is right behind them with 140 points. But let's take a short break, and then we'll be back for the final showdown to see which school wins this school duel game. At Chick-fil-A Caraway Village, we always look forward to seeing Ellie. Nick also. <laughs> Ellie just gets excited and bolts right towards him. She loves to come and get the bag and trots right back to Nick. We never even had to ask them to hand her the bag. The team members just automatically knew to do it. It was just that <laughs> little thing, that level of customer service that uh, kind of blew my mind. We're just really glad that Nick shared Ellie with us. <laughs> we take care of our guests, whether they're two-legged or four-legged. Beacon TV would like to thank the following sponsors for making School Duel possible. a good game going as Doral is holding on to their lead of 150 points over Pinecrest with their 140 points. It is now time for the final showdown. This is the last round and our schools will go against each other again with toss-up questions. But this time these questions are worth 20 points. Now just a reminder, if a question is answered incorrectly, the other school can steal. This is for the win. It is time for the final showdown. First question deals with comics. Batman's 80th anniversary was recently celebrated by what comic company? Yes, Chase. DC. The body. Which organ of the human body, when it fails, requires many patients to go through regular dialysis? Chase. Kidney. Geometry. What adjective for a trapezoid whose non-parallel sides are equally long also describes a triangle with two equal sides? Chase. Isosceles. Processes. In animals, it produces sperm and egg cells. Chase. Biosis. Babies. Give the term for a baby deer. Michele. A doe. Incorrect. Pinecrest. Chase. Fawn. Borders. Besides Georgia, what other state borders Florida? Michele. Alabama. Tennis. Name the tennis shot in which the ball is hit back before it bounces on the hitter's side of the... Justin. Volley. Daily math, a restaurant total bill is $70. What would the total be if you included a 20% tip? Chase. $84. Atoms, what subatomic particle is grouped into orbitals and adds a negative charge, Chase? Electron. Multiple meanings, what word means both a time period when you work and to move from first gear to second gear? Michele. Shift. Statues. What bronze statue by Donatello, the first freestanding statue since Roman times, shows the title figure wearing a hat and boots and standing, yes, Chase? The thinker. Incorrect, Doral Academy. What bronze statue by Donatello, the first freestanding statue since Roman times, shows the title figure wearing a hat and boots and standing over the head of Goliath? Michele. Statue of David. Events. In 2013, two terrorists set off a bomb at what annual event in Boston? McCool? Boston Marathon. Music. What musical device generates clicks at a desired tempo to keep you playing? Yes, Michele? Metronome. Colleges. Top football players in its history have included Emmett Smith and Danny Warfel. Named this college football team in Gainesville, nicknamed the Gators, Chase? Florida. Uh, University of Florida. Vegetables. The pigment found in what vegetable is named for the vegetable itself? Bugs Bunny's voice, Mel Blank. Yes, Michele? Carrot. Spelling. Relating to measuring, 
spell the word quantitative? Michele. Q U A N T I T I T A T I V E. Incorrect. Pinecrest? Q yes, Maya. Q U A N T A T I V E. Quantitative. Q U A N T I T A T I V E. Bands. Which popular boy band that included Nick Carter and Kevin Richardson sang As Long As You Love Me and I Want It? Yes, McCool? The Backstreet Boys. Carbon. What most stable form of carbon is a mineral mixed with clay to create pencil lead? Chase. Graphite. Mythology. In myth, Perseus is most famous for cutting off the head of what creature whose face would turn McCool? Medusa. States. What country's 16 states include Brandenburg, Bremen, yes, Michele? Germany. Gems. Identify the only gemstone composed of just one element. Maya. Diamond. Greece. Oh, that sound brings an end to this school duel game as Pinecrest came from behind to ending up with 360 points over Doral's 330 points. So congratulations to Pinecrest. Congratulations on your South Florida Chick-fil-A chicken sandwiches for an entire year. And of course, great job to everyone. So let's hear it for both schools. That was exciting. And at this time, we'd like to thank all of our sponsors for making School Duel possible. And of course, you at home for watching. Now, don't forget to check out our website at schoolduel.tv, where you can find out more about the schools involved and you can watch past shows. Now, please remember to use hashtag School Duel to contact us through social media. And most importantly, make sure that you tune in next week to School Duel Thursday at 8 p.m. as Coral Glades High takes on Pompano Beach High and what should be another great game. Goodbye, everyone, and thanks for watching. School Duel was brought to you by Chick-fil-A South Florida and Bright Star Credit Union.